In Matthew 24, Jesus lets his followers know that there will be signs indicating that his second coming is very soon. He says wars, famines, earthquakes, and the spreading of deceptions and of infectious diseases will prevail on a worldwide scale. He then finishes with a warning parable about a servant who is made ruler over his master's household to give his fellow servants their food at a proper time. Jesus says if the master finds his servant faithfully doing his duty when he returns, then he will put him in charge of all his possessions. The implication is that the servant is not aware of when his master will return but he is faithfully doing his duty every single day. So why is the servant looking good when his master returns? Well, because he's been looking good every day. That is what he always does. He's been following his master's orders and desires, faithfully serving his master every single day. However, Jesus warns, suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, my master is staying away a long time. In other words, I am going to put off the return of my master way into the future. And he then begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with drunkards. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he is not aware of. So this is not a secret. It is very unexpected though. It's like surprise, the master is home and he sees how wicked you are. He will cut him to pieces and assign him with a place with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So this is a very serious message. So question, does the wicked servant believe that his master is coming back? Absolutely. But by setting it off into the future, he begins to live as if his master is not ever coming back. If you asked him if he would be okay if he would be beating his fellow servants when the master returned, he would say, no way. But by putting it off, it changed his heart. Can we ask you a question? What is your attitude towards the coming of Jesus? Because your attitude toward the coming of Jesus will undoubtedly affect the way you live today.